Good morning, everyone. I'm coming up to do my final check on the babies, give them nice, clean, fresh water, make sure everybody has food, and check on the boys, make sure they're okay. But I wanted to kind of show you inside my brooder house right now, um, my she shed or whatever you want to call it. Um, got some work done. And I got my wind chime. I absolutely love that. I got that at Tractor Supply. It was a little expensive, but how pretty is that? Okay, so let's go on into my brooder house. Um, this is not a typical brooder house that you would consider from the old days where they put them in a stall and they called that the brooder house. Um, this is actually the playhouse that I bought for an office slash incubation room. So what I will do is I have two of my incubators up here and I will plug them in, let them do their thing till just about hatch time and then I will take them to the house and hatch them out in the, ba the bathroom and have them in there for a couple days and then bring them back up here and put them in one of my breeder bins. There is a stack of four in there. So that way, through the process, whoever hatches first gets moved to the bigger bends, and they move along as they develop and dry. So that way no one gets picked on or anything like that, because the first two hours, they're pretty much trying to dry and get their footing and really kind of figure out what they are and what, what's going on up there. Um, it's hard to see, but this little shelf here, it has... Let's see here. That door keeps squeaking. Um, it has some shelving in there for all of my needs for hatching babies, cotton balls, just in case I need those, puppy pads, um, so on and so forth. This shelf, of course, has some of my other equipment in there. There's some big pack of big puppy pads. And then I will fill this up. I'll put some water up here because I do want to use bottled water in my incubators from now on. Um, our water is so hard, I don't want the lime build up. So, over here, i got this huge garbage bag that needs to be taken down once I get all the garbage in order. This is like my little bookshelf here. It's got some, some chicken books and a few little odds and ends, ducks and chicken uh, decorations. You know, I've, I've always gotten little things. Um, I've decided not to insulate and wall this building up. It does get warm enough. I think that if we have a heat lamp going on, a main heat lamp and then a heat lamp on the brooders, they'll be fine. Um, I did hang a picture, and I do have little curtains up. These little curtains can easily be tied up to let, you know, to let sunlight in if I need to. But I've kind of got those up, and then I put the, uh, I put that on this little window here. So this here is my brooder barn and we're hoping that it turns out fine. So we'll be hatching chicks really soon, I hope, <laughs> um, because I don't have any of my hatched chicks except for um, Frazzle, or except for Frazzle and Friction, whom I went and got back from the person who got them as babies. So let's go on in here and check everybody out. There's my fresh water. I need to get that to them before it gets too warm. I do not like giving them super cold water just because they're babies. Hello! How are we doing? Are we doing okay? Are we doing okay? As you can see, I'm already starting to stock them up on canned corn and tuna um, in the wintertime when there aren't any bugs and they're not getting that extra protein on their own. I do that. I train them with canned corn on when to come to me. Um, if they're outside, I want them in. I can use canned corn with the other girls, so I train them. So that's what the corn is for, and they just love it. They absolutely love the corn. Now the boys <laughs> are in here. This here, this shelf, look, it's a hot mess. I got all my little equipments up here. This will eventually have, like, maybe a rice cooker or something up here so that I can make hot food up here for them. Down here is probably where I'll put my refrigerator. I have a plug right in there. So I'll scoot a little refrigerator in there so I can keep cold greens and, you know, pastas and rices for them. Hi, guys. 
Poe just absolutely loves the babies. He just absolutely loves the babies. He will coo to them, and he's just a tremendous bird. Wish you could see his coloring. I call him a calico. I don't know what he is. But then there's Shakespeare, my little hellion, that hopefully we have a home for. So let's just kind of look around here. And what I need to do, oh, here's all my building equipment right here in this corner. I've got fencing and all the little equipments right here in this corner. This corner will not be that. Eventually there will be shelving in here for a lot of their goods. Um, over here, this bin here has their shavings in it. I dumped one in there. I have one back here. I have a carrier. And then this is the next feeder that's going to the babies. I did not give them that feeder yet because they were so little, I was afraid they were going to get down inside of there and get stuck while I was at work and then, you know, come home at night and whatever. I have my playpen back there. My goodness! Did you hear that? I have a little rooster trying to crow. Actually, it's one of the black um, Easter eggers. So now I have a black rooster Easter egger. I have an Americana and I should have a Welsomer. And I'm hoping that the Welsomer is not the one that has the foot problems, but I have a feeling that's who that is. So let's try to, let's just hook me in the eye on video. Oh, I hear it again. Okay, let's try to, I don't want this thing to be slamming back and forth. So I do try to hook it. If it stays, it stays. If not, it doesn't. But, you know, I'm really digging these buildings. I'm just hoping I can get them all, you know, fixed up before winter. And then I have these three over here that are empty. I do have those doors open today so that way they can get some cross breeze. It's supposed to be really, really hot. And there you go. We still have an empty one here. Now, I think what this is going to be here is when I decide which girls I'm going to give to Poe out of this group. Um, he will have his group over here, and then we'll leave this, and I'm thinking about maybe bringing up Frazzle and putting her in here. I don't like her where she's at. I can't get to her. She just is so lonely, though, that I think she would really enjoy being in here. Actually, her and Poe would make a good couple because they're both so insecure with other chickens and everything that goes on, but I just don't see that happening. Hey, what are you doing? What are you doing down there? I saw you poking your head in. That's my favorite out of all of them. He's not, not pretty, but he comes to me, and they all come to me because they think I have a, a cicada. <laughs> hey, that hurt. All right, that's about all I had to show you. What are you doing? Huh? What are you doing? There's some really pretty birds in here. Hi. Do you want to be on camera? How are you? How are you doing? Huh? I think that one right there is the black rooster. Um, picking on them. Now, the two Morans, I think I figured it out. Um, I think that the Morans are the ones with the non-red cones. And then the Welsomer, I think that's a Welsomer right there. I think that's the rooster. And then, or I don't even know. I really don't know anything about what's going on with these birds because they all look so similar, but they're just so pretty. Okay, you all have a good day. We're gonna get you some fresh water and then mommy's going to work. Hey, you all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. And I can't wait to get this courtyard done. I think that's going to be an awesome thing. Of course, I'll have to um, skirt all around the buildings. And then we'll have more fence around here. And we'll have a little garden area. And, you know, maybe this could be where Frazzle can actually have some good times with me. You all have a great day. Hugs from a distance. Chirp, chirp. Bye-bye.